Well, welcome back all. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing. And our shaverage is our six cups of coffee. Let me tell you what, guys. Whoever thought to grind some beans up, pour hot water over them, should be given a medal or made a saint. One of the two or both. But you don't need to see me. You just want to see what's in the box. So that's the reason you're where you're at. And yes, that is my sewing machine. Our unboxing tool is my K-Bar Desert Mule folder. This one is from Maggard. Maggard, this time. Sorry, guys, I forgot. This. I ordered the microphone. You saw that for my camera, and it didn't work. So I contacted the seller. He said it was. I was the fourth person to complain about the same problem out of this last batch of microphones he's had. So he's sending the whole batch back to his distributor that he bought and he refu refunded my money so <clears throat> all good okay and you know I like my barber shops so I had to get this one I had to get the Sterling barber shop Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a fan you hear in the background. It's Florida. It's hot as hell. Even with the air on, i got to have a fan in here. Wow, that's a beautiful scent. That one looks like bubblegum. That's a beautiful scent. Eleven Soaps. Barbershop. That one's more citrusy than barbershop to me. It's got more of a citrus scent. We'll see how it does when it lathers. And of course, I had to get myself some creams. The Gillette Lime. Give that one a try. And after my experience with the Osage Rub, I'm not sure if I really want to use this. <laughs> This is a menthol. Cooling menthol. And no shave den is complete without your Arco stick, correct? Got to have your Arco stick. I think we're going to try this one today when I do the head shave later. I've got some things I've got to go outside and do on the porch. I want to do them while the sun's out and it's warm. <clears throat> so I'll do my head shave later. And I had to get Old Spice shaving cream to go with my Old Spice aftershave. Because, you know, I want to smell like a man. Usually when I smell like a man, nobody else likes it. <laughs> Especially when you do it in the car and all the windows are up. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are cute. These are samples of the different Magger house blends, I would say. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, if more companies did these, these are $1.80 a piece. It's not a lot. I 
you got enough in here for what? Four shaves, maybe. This one is toba tobacco and la and leather. I definitely smell the le leather on this one. But my thought is, if more companies did these, they would sell more of these. Because who wants to, on some of these companies charging $26 for a soap, who wants to spend $26 on this and find out they absolutely cannot stand the scent of it? Or would you rather spend a dollar eighty on a bunch of these, find a scent you like, and then spend twenty six dollars on one of those? I don't know. Mango sage tea. Ooh, that's a clean, fresh scent. Definitely picking up the sage in that one. Lilac. That's exactly what it is, lilac. That's a nice scent. I could I could see the ladies liking that one a lot to use <laughs> more so than the smell. Lines Bergamot. Oh, that lime reaches out and grabs you on this one. That's nice. That'd be a nice refreshing scent. That'd be a refreshing soap to use. And the last one, is orange menthol. Here we go with the menthols again. I'm trying to change my ways, trying to work outside of my box. I might need, I might need Lou Ferrigno to re- to re-hulk up to get this one open. Okay, got it. Whew. I pick up the orange real easy. And the menthol is kind of sitting in the back a little bit. So that's good for me. Alright, guys. So, I got six more full soaps and five samples. <clears throat> so the rabbit hole just got a little deeper and I've got one more box coming. Let's do it. Let's open this up. Oh yeah, that's Old Spice. That is definitely Old Spice. Hell, just smelling it made me feel more like a man. <laughs> well, let's see how much menthol's in this. Oh, can you see the color in, inside the cap? Not a good sign.
it's actually not that strong. But usually when you see that much blue, <laughs> like that's going to be an iceberg. All right, 33% extra for free. I like free. My four favorite letters right there, free. As opposed to work, which is one of the worst uh, four letter words ever. It's even worse than that F word. Oh yeah, there's definitely some lime in that. That's good. Yep, trying to expand my horizons, gentlemen. Yes, I like my barbershop scents, and I will continue to buy barbershops whenever I run across them. Because I do like a good barbershop. That, that, that to me looks very, very, that looks like bubble gum to me. And it has such, this is very close to my B&E old time barbershop scent that I already have, that puff. This is very close. It's got that scent that when you were a kid and you walked in, so I didn't walk into a barbershop with my dad, I walked in with my grandfather. That smell that hits you, I was eight, nine years old. I was younger than that when the first time I went to a barbershop, but the ones I remember, I was like eight or nine years old, and I went into the barbershop with him. And that smell hits you as soon as you walk in the door. This is what you smell. It's so, it brings back such great memories. Now I see why everybody's big into the scents on their shave soaps. I was one that was never really, it's, it's still not a necessity, it's just an added plus, it's a bonus. I didn't see that before. Okay, what does that say? Oh, it's the Julian base. It lists the ingredients. Okay. Julian base. To me, this is like a couple of the other ones I got the other day. It's more like the after the barbershop scent. This is after you're all done. They put the talc on your on the back of your neck for the rash. They brushed you off. This is this is the smell for when you were done. This is the smell that hit you when you walked in the door. And does this thing even have any scent? I guess. Oh yeah, it does. It's got a little bit of scent. I place this scent. It's it's not so much soap scent is clean, refreshing. This reminds me of something I used to smell back like in the early 80s. Like when I was sixteen to eighteen years old. A very clean, fresh scent. Almost like the smell that you in your bathroom after you got out of the shower. That's what this reminds me of. Alright all. Have a good one. Enjoy your day. I'm going out on the porch to continue with a project, which you'll be seeing shortly. We'll get that all done. And hopefully, by the end of the week, I'll have everything done and I can do the video I want to do. But later today, I'll be doing a head shave and I'll post that one up later. Alright all, take care. Have a good one.
and happy shades out there.